this is Dr. Allison Watson, and this is a case of a revision um, dacryocystis rhinostomy through an endoscopic approach. The probe is initially placed in order to identify the area of the previous osteotomy um, for connection with the lacrimal system, and a curved blade is then used to initiate a mucosal incision approximately one centimeter anterior to um, the intended site of uh, the revision, and then a freer elevator is used to elevate a mucosal flap. Um, in, in the region of the previous osteotomy in order to identify if there is um, recurrent neobone formation in the area and where the problematic scar is and to reopen the osteotomy site. Once the flap is adequately elevated, additional bone was uh, needed uh, to be removed. This was performed with a kerosin and a Blake flea is used to remove um, some scar tissue in the region. Uh, the kerosin is again used until all of um, the newborn bone formation is adequately uh, removed and the osteotomy is of the desired size. Um, additional scar tissue and bone is removed in the area until uh, the probe is noted to be freely coming out of the common canaliculus without any evidence of obstruction. Obviously this is unique in that the lacrimal sac has been previously opened um, in the person's first surgery. Now we can see the common canaliculus is well visualized with intubation through the superior and inferior system. Um, a small amount of additional mucosa and scar tissue is removed to prevent um, uh, any subsequent um, scar tissue formation. Next, the system is then intubated with a self-retaining stent tube that's retrieved using a curved hemostat. Um, you can see that the uh, intubation has already performed through the inferior system, and then uh, the probe is retrieved from the superior system for complete intubation, which can be visualized here with a now open system um, with the tubes coming through the common canaliculus. This patient was also treated with uh, canalong soaked gel foam um, to be left at the site to prevent recurrent scarring. Alternatively, mitomycin C can be used.